Welcome back, one and all, to Persona 5. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time, a hacker was fucking with us. And we're having to deal with a cyber terrorist ring. And I got a bottle of tea! Probably better for me than a Jack Daniels beer uh, cooler drink thing. I don't know. Make the shit up as I go. Did you know that the earth is flat? <laughs> Please don't take anything I say too seriously. Face. Man. Alibaba. What do you want? Yeah, that's right. Mm. I'm in class. Steal from who? Hey, hey. What's the target's name? It is. Utaba Sakura. Who is this Futaba Sakura? For real? We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Futaba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's boss's last name! Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster, just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Hmm? What's up? 
you know of Futaba Sakura? Why do you know about that? Mm. It's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. He knows something. Looks like it's a hit. He didn't want to talk about it. It's clearly something that bothers him. Sister? Hey, I'm a growing boy. Now let's check the alleyways. Oh, there's someone right here. Let's ask you. Anything down here? Like it. Uh, I don't need to do that right now. Did I ask you? Yeah, that was the guy you said about your elementary school. How about you, Miss Lady? Miss Lady?
Okay. All the shops where you can buy food. Hey! Like a supermarket. That doesn't look like it'll work. I gotta talk to him directly. You read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns, Fine. I yield. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. Oh, you bitch. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. She's a lawyer. Kind of her job. <sighs> What's with that look? You got something to say? What was that? This doesn't involve you. So Futaba is your daughter. That's enough! Just behave yourself, and keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. He is very protective. Mm. The existence of this Futaba is for certain. She may be in some kind of bad situation, though. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the Chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though. Especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Yeah, that'd be... That, I don't want to get thrown out. I kind of like living here. Day. A woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. Uh, what's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? No way. I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Is it Alibaba? Yep. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about him. 
Do you know if she has a palace? Palace? What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. We should meet. Go out? Who are you? We're not done here. Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown. We got 150,000 yen out of it. 150,000. That's awesome! We can really go all... Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. Go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut. That is 1,362 United States dollars. Where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. I actually do enjoy a good lobster roll. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. Really? You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Sushi's fine. Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. do anything? No. Well then. You seem quite busy, Sai-san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? I cannot stand this little pepper. The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Medjid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. It's bad for your heart, too. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd. But, don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? 
the one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just phantom thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. You little pecker, you're shifting the blame on me? Fuck you! The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your, did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our- Handle the Phantom Thieves, without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. Okay. Denza. All right. The flounder is out of this world. Mm, that texture. Uh, I don't see any prices listed here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it, we got the cash. So good! <laughs> hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Hold your horses. Yeah, don't talk! By the way, is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? No chance. He's strict. But he doesn't look like the violent type. really true about the abuse, he'd be a no-good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait, you think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? Maybe. He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. Doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. Hmm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. It... Crap. Uh, um, f fantastic. This sushi is delicious. Y yeah, the fish is so fresh. <laughs> Everywhere we go, we hear about these Phantom Thieves. What rubbish. Think about where we are, Ryuji. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up Boss again. We should just enjoy the food.
Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Oh, you little prick! Akechi-kun! Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Yes. Do you know this guy? Apparently she does. It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kita. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Ah, English again! Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's, uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, a total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation, but I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. Dude, I swear to God, I got arrested for assault. I will beat the fuck out of you. Get lost. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Retaliate. Hmm. So you share the majority's opinion. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. Define normal. If anything, we want to hear what you gotta say, Mr. Detective. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. You're the suspicious one here. I wasn't anticipating that response. You always find a way to rise above my expectations. There's something about this prick I do not trust. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> what the hell are you saying? I'm curious to hear what you have to say. You seem to be a wealth of information. In return, I'll teach you how to make deductions. I believe that is a fair trade-off for you. What? My justice went up. All right. Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. What was that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but... It may be best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Mejed. Oh yeah! What did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. 
As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. Jesus! That's what it says. Um, sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? It seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we gonna do about this? Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblanc? We can talk more over there. Have a cold drink and... Sit back. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? Will this be okay? I won't ask anything that will get you thrown out. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! <laughs> no complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. This could quickly get turned south. Uh, hello? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kinda old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. For. I I'm not freaking out! Could it be Alibaba? 
I mean, Futaba? Uh, sorry, um, can I hold your hand? I can sense someone's presence. Who is it? Who's there? I can't take this anymore, I'm leaving! Dating? We're just friends. Friends nowadays get that close to each other? But that's not it. This, um, uh, things happened and... You kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Because I'm getting old. Okay, we explained the situation. Uh, Everything's fine. Everything's me. cool. Nobody panics. There's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here. Isn't there? Yeah. My daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that... Is she sick? No, no it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that had changed after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. A better father. There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. 
but one day she left, leaving Futaba behind. Is she dead? Yes. She committed suicide. Oh, God. Suicide? <sighs> Threw herself into the street, right in front of Futaba's eyes. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out. Futaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. I understand. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. What does she want? I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. I don't know about this. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the? She's got one! So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. He's in so, the... ever since we went inside Boss's house? 
Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat, after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning, after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Mejed called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. The cat's in the house. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. There are Power Ranger figurines on her desk, on her shelf there. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Mejet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sog... What the... She's got one! So someone can have a palace, even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana... Where were you? Mm. What was she like? Back to that present, future, whatever. To the interrogation room. I'll just start calling it that. <sighs> Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Mejid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? They were an uns. That's right. Then how was Mejid? What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. Of course not. I'm not lying to you. <laughs> you have quite the wit. Very well, let's continue. We've yet to determine how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Mejid, seeing as they are unseen. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. Even more on my justice, Arcana. Confidant. All right. Oh no, excuse me. Judge. Still, to think the Phantom Judgment. Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. <laughs> what a coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Seriously? Okay, I've gone for a while. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Persona 5 as I continue to do Phantom Thief things. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.